Now, I don't know about you, but as for me, I love some good old hot steamy tea every now and again. And I bet you're wondering, Tanya, what type of tea are you about to give us? Are you telling us about a new tea that you've tasted? Or are you giving us the tea? Like, girl, I heard that she said, that they said, that we said, that they said. If you want to know about what type of tea I'm about to give to you, then my friends, you should definitely continue watching. Hello, good people, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Felice, and if you enjoy chatting about all things fragrance, love, beauty, life, and whatever else we decide to collaborate about on this channel, then you, my friends, have landed in the right place. If you are not new here and you always drop in to just check out what we have to chat about, thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. And if you're here and you're like, let me see what Miss Tanya is talking about. And by the end of the video or throughout the video, you notice that it's something that's intriguing you or something that you may want to just kind of hang on to or hold on a little closer to then stay right here and become a part of our family. Guys, I would love to have you here. And I'm especially loving that you're here today to get all this tea about fragrances that have tea as one of their notes. I bet you were thinking, oh, she about to give us some tea about a fragrance and I need to know what it is because honey, I'm gonna give you some tea, all right. But it's gonna be some much needed good tea about five wonderful fragrances that I'm just absolutely loving. If you want to know more, then stay tuned with me and continue watching. Okay, good people. So let's just jump right in. I hope you've grabbed yourself a cup of tea, your favorite cup of tea, so we can chat about all of these tea-based fragrances. So guys, First and foremost, you know that's my favorite thing to say, first and foremost, I have a fragrance for you guys and I thought that it was a tea-based fragrance because of the way it smells, because of the way it makes me feel. Guys, it's none other than Joe Malone's Poppy and Barley. I don't know why this doesn't have a tea base in it, but I know that it is a very much so calm, comforting, lively in the beginning, just a simply beautiful scent, guys. Um, I say that this was my honorable mention because as I stated, it just reminds me of all the other scents that I have here for you that are tea-based. So let's just talk a little bit about this scent, guys. This scent has, of course, poppy, and of course, it has barley in it. The poppy is supposed to be the liveliness of um, the English fields because it was a part of the English Fields collection with Joe Malone. And guys, when I first smelled that collection of fragrances, I was like, yeah, that smells okay. Yeah, that smells all right. Then I popped the top on this beauty. And oh my God, absolutely comforting, absolutely creamy. In the beginning, it's lively. And then it just kind of calms down. So while reading up on this fragrance, I thought about what a poppy could possibly even smell like. So I'm like, is that a part of the tea note that I'm getting? But no, it's not. Poppies actually don't even have a smell to them. So I think it's more of the violet. I think it's more of the barley um, that's in this fragrance, guys, because it has such an earthy scent. It kind of puts me in the mind of like a softer earl gray type of tea. So although, like I said, although this is not one of our tea-based fragrances, it smells like tea is embedded, guys. It has a lot of the notes that the other fragrances that I'm about to share with you has. And so if you're looking for a beautiful, bright, um, yet barley field, oat field type of fragrance, you know how oatmeal sometimes is very creamy and just soothing and such a comforting food? This is what this reminds me of, but in a beautiful aspect of it, guys. So that's Joe Malone, Poppy and Barley. And might I add, it was a part of a collection. Now it is a permanent fragrance with them. So I'm so excited about that. 
next fragrance so guys I took some beautiful notes for you because these are some really good fragrances and I want to just make sure I capture the essence of all of them. The next one is none other than Tay Cashmere by um, Maison Dior. So it's from the House of Dior. It is from their Maison Christian Dior line, guys. This fragrance was one that I picked up, took a whiff, turned my head, and then turned back around quickly to see what in the world is that beautiful smell? And it's none other than Tay Cashmere. So this fragrance reminds me of cozying up in a nice, elegant cashmere sweater or a nice, elegant cashmere scarf and cozying up by the fireplace and just sipping on a glass of tea because it's so comforting, it's so delicate, it's so gentle, and it is embodied with Oh my God, white tea, guys. This fragrance actually has a green note to it. It has bergamot in it. It has um, rose. It has black currant with a hit of musk and smoke. So all of these fragrances that we are going to peruse today all have some kind of dry down that is either musky or ambery or sandalwood. And it's just really, really creamy. Um, kind of like when you take a little bit of milk and add it into some type of tea. But this is Tay Cashmere. If you were looking for something that's going to give you that cozy up type feeling, then this is your fragrance. If you want something that's just going to give you a beautiful scent, it's clean, it's fresh, but at the same time, it has just the right amount of sweetness and greenness that just makes it for a beautiful, beautiful scent. So that is Tay Cashmere by Maison Christian Dior. My next fragrance, guys, this one right here, let me just pull it up a little closer. You can see it. I'm going to just call it Fig Eden, and it is by the Armani Privé Collection. Okay, guys, so this fragrance is supposed to be reminiscent of the Mediterranean gardens, guys. It has pink pepper, fig, green tea, iris, amber, and this is just hands down a fragrance that for me smells very clean and classy and rich and elegant expensive i should say and it can transition from day to night this fragrance reminds me although it is a tea-based fragrance but i guess this is tea too it is tea a chai tea latte from starbucks coupled with my favorite creamer or my favorite milk based product because it dries down to be so rich and so creamy and so smooth and silky. The pink pepper balances out that fig. This is a well done, beautiful fig, iris, amber, pink pepper based fragrance laced with the tea all in one. Guys, when I think of this fragrance, I think of heaven in a bottle. This just simply smells Oh God, this simply smells like what the angel should be smelling like, okay? It's just simply beautiful, simply a well-done fragrance. And if you want something soft, if you want something creamy, you can't go wrong with Fig Eden. You can't go wrong with Joe Malone, Poppy and Barley or Tay Cashmere. All three of those scents have that very milky, creamy, um, feeling to them. And I just, I absolutely love it guys. So my next fragrance, honey, now this has a little black tea in it, honey. You know, when you're drinking black tea, sometimes you get a good kick of that caffeine behind it. So this one is Tay Noir 29 and this is by Le Labo. Guys, first of all, let's talk a little bit about why I love Le Labo. I don't know if you can see it, but if you can see it, it's engraved with Tanya's Noir right down here at the bottom. I love the fact that Lalabo personalizes their fragrances. I.e. if you're looking for a Christmas gift and you want something just nice, simple, personalized, guys, you can definitely get a bigger bottle. But for me, I don't need a bigger bottle. I have so many fragrances. I need to make sure I'm able to even use my fragrances. Okay. Tay Noir 29. So let's get back to logistics, guys. This is a fragrance that was love at first sniff for me. There again, I didn't know that I was really fiending or really falling in love with these tea-based scents until I start to really research some of the notes. And I'm like, wait a minute, these fragrances have something in common 
And what they have in common is that they have some type of tea note in them. So yes, I'm getting all the tea, honey, on these fragrances. So let's talk a little bit about what's in this fragrance. You have you have black tea, as I stated. You have there again, bergamot. You have black pepper. You have amber. You have dry rose. And you have musk. This is sensuous, fresh, and radiant, all wrapped up in one. It's not as creamy as the other fragrances that I mentioned before because it has more of a um, upbeat kind of grab you, pull you in, let's drink me, honey. We're ready to kind of go and just have at it, okay? This one is not one that just kind of calms you down. You know, some people drink their coffee heavily caffeinated. This is for my black tea drinkers with that caffeinated, honey, black tea drinkers. And it just gives you that zealous, upbeat, vibe so this is tay noir 29 guys it is definitely um combined with even fig fig is in this one too so i've noticed the commonality with these fragrances i see fig i see iris i see some type of note of something citrus but there again i can't really smell the citrus because it kind of calms down and kind of just blends in with the rest of the notes so this is tay noir 29 by le Labo. Last but not least, guys, last but not least, honey, I have to pull. This is my baby right here, guys. And you can't see it because of that gold, honey. It's just blinging. But this is none other than Guerlain's Neroli Ultra Noir. Guys, oh, this one pulls me in every time, honey. This one right here is absolutely addictive. It's something different about the T-note in here. And I had to go and take a peek at the difference. And this is a smoked tea this is smoked tea this is amber this is moss this is myrrh this is bergamot this is orange blossom guys it starts out with a fresh burst i'm gonna go ahead and put this one on ah it starts off with a fresh burst you get that orange you get that bergamot right in the beginning and honey on that dry down that's when that amber that myrrh and that tea that smoked tea kicks in and it's just over, okay? You're going to wear this and it's going to be over. I don't know, guys, why this fragrance from the Art of Materials collection does not get pub. Guys, you need to get your hands on this one because it smells so good. The tea in this fragrance, ugh. It's a turn on. This is just an absolute turn on. The fig in here is great. The amber in here is great. It just, this fragrance is done so well. It's balanced so well. I mean, but what else do you expect from the House of Guerlain, okay? This one right here, I've went on YouTube channels, took a peek at people's videos. I just see a few videos out there about this one, guys. Get you a sample of this one because this is a tea fragrance that is so comforting. As I said before, if you watched another one of my videos, this fragrance is one that just kind of pulls you into that cocoon and kind of holds on tight. Try to get away, honey. You think you're about to spread your wings and fly? And it's like, no, you're not done yet. You need a little bit more love and then you can go out there in the atmosphere. This is that fragrance, guys. Something that I've noticed about all of these fragrances in which I've said is that it's orange based, it's bergamot, it has fig, it has some type of green note, and there again, the tea in some type of form, guys. So if at any point throughout this video, you know what I say, if you like any of the content that I've shared, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you feel like, oh, I need to stay over here with Tanya so I can keep getting the tea, on fragrances, beauty, and whatever else she likes to talk about with us, then definitely hit the subscribe button, guys, and go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload, honey, some more tea for you. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching and have a more than amazing Thanksgiving Think about what you're thankful for. And today, I just want to simply say, I'm thankful for you. Bye now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a happy Thanksgiving.